But first tonight, a man armed with a sledgehammer goes after a triad deputy. Our guys wake up every morning with the same mindset. They just want to serve, protect, and go home. Forsyth County deputy shot the armed man after a hostage standoff. He's dead and a deputy is on leave. It all started with a welfare check and forced the evacuation of neighbors during tense moments that ended in the deadly shooting. The man deputies say is responsible for all of this is James White. WFMY News News Hannah Jeffries is live now in Kernersville with how this all unfolded. Chad, Julie, as you mentioned, this all started with a simple welfare check and eventually turned deadly. Investigators say one thing led to another and it all ended at this home right here behind me earlier today. Forsyth County Sheriff Bobby Kimbrough said it all started this morning around 8 a.m. The sheriff's office says a deputy went to do a welfare check. That's when he found James White asleep in his car while it was running. Investigators say White woke up and drove off. The deputy followed him to Old Valley School Road. Deputies say White ran into his home, barricaded himself inside, and held his girlfriend hostage. Investigators say White tried to attack deputies with a sledgehammer when they came inside. That's when a deputy fired one shot. Sheriff Kimbrough says while this deadly shooting is unfortunate, his office has a duty to protect and serve. What I will tell people is that we're here to ensure that everybody is safe, in this community. We're here to serve and protect, and all that we're asking is help us do that. We talked to a man who lives along Old Valley School Road. He says he was going out for breakfast when he saw law enforcement at the house and more on the way. He says the neighborhood is usually a quiet one, but crime has no address. You know, I prefer not to see anybody getting hurt at any given time, but uh, and you, you, you never know, you know, people have different things going on, especially what's going on in the world. The sheriff said White did have outstanding warrants for his arrest in Guilford County. After the shooting, he says deputies tried to perform life saving measures on him. He was taken to the hospital. That's where he was pronounced dead. And thankfully, the hostage was not harmed. For now, live in Kernersville, I'm Hannah Jeffries, WFMY News 2.